So well, I know that, you know, five years ago, six years ago, when it was announced that this was going to be a revival, it was like one of the biggest things to happen in television history, in my opinion. And it actually, I feel like kind of started so many other revivals going on that we may not have seen, you know, with like Friends getting a reboot now. So I'm curious for you, though, when you got back into these characters five, six years ago, did you realize something that maybe you carried from each of your characters into your personal life when Full House wrapped. I know that was a long time ago before this was shot again five, six years ago, but as you started filming again, did you realize that these there was something that maybe you carried with a view, you know, from DJ, from Kimmy, from Steph into your actual lives after rapping? I mean, when I was young, like, and I think for all of us, the producers really took who we were as kids and kind of yeah. folded that into the characters. So, I, I think it was hard. I mean, at least for, for Steph and, and myself, I felt like I was never quite sure where Steph began and I ended because we both were very similar people and personalities, you know, so it was easy to come back to that as an adult. Yeah, again, I think it's flipped because they really wrote to us. So it's more about us being infused into the characters. And I can see mm -hmm. now uh, DJ, who she is now as an adult, there are fun things about her that aren't necessarily as dominant in Candace, but like, but I love certain things about DJ. So the fact that she's so organized and a leader, and I think I'm a leader, but a little more laid back, but I feel like <laughs> her, her spirit kind of got in me a little more. So now I'm a little bit more like, you know, just have to be in charge all the time. I'm the cast member that's <laughs> the least like her character. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> there's very little overlap between Andrea and Kimmy. And I was actually very insecure the first few seasons of Full House playing the character. But somewhere along the way, I just learned to let go of my inhibitions and just learn that if you just throw yourself 100% into something like the character of Kimmy Gibbler, you'll reap great rewards. And so that's kind of a lesson that I have brought with me through my life and definitely into Fuller House, you know, it's, you go big or go home. So I, you know, we call it, we call it going the full Gibbler when I turn it on full Gibbler and yes. it's big laughs. I am such a, a big fan of, of DJ and Steve and those characters just like being together and watching them throughout the whole entire series and the in, in Fuller House. So I'm curious for each of you, um, are there any other famous like TV couples that each of you have personally shipped or rooted for maybe when you were younger or growing up? Candace, I'll start with you. Oh, goodness. Well, I think Ross and Rachel, like that's the immediate one that pops into my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah. Andrea, what about you? I was going to say the same thing. Ross and Rachel, they were always the end game. So oh, it's the end game. Yeah. Yep. Jody. Jim though. Also, come on, Pam and Jim. I know. That, yeah. 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 I go, I'm, I would go Pam and Jim. Yeah, I exactly. I'm more of an office person. Yeah. Like all of America and the, and the whole world grew up with you guys and we get to, you know, revisit these characters with you. Um, and it's just amazing to see everything that they've gone through. So I'm curious for you, when you guys were filming Full House, what were some TV shows that maybe you grew up with or characters that you grew up with when you were, when you were filming or even maybe some after you had wrapped filming? Candace also. <laughs> um, you know, as a kid, my favorite shows were Happy Days and Three's Company. And they might have even been in syndication at the time. I'm not even sure. But I just loved those shows. And I loved Happy Days because I loved the, the whole Cunningham family and Fonzie. And they'll, like, always be a part of my life. Yeah. Jody. what about you? What, what shows I watched when I was young? Oh, gosh. Um... I'm I mean, not there. Sure it was probably hard with filming and stuff, but I'm just wondering. Yeah, and I, I wasn't a huge TV person, but the one show I did watch, there was a show, uh, and it was like an old West, not, it wasn't an old Western, but it was a show called The Young Riders with uh, Josh Brolin and uh, one of the, ball Stephen Baldwin, and I just love that. My dad always watched Westerns, so that was like a show that I remember watching vividly as a child, because I also had a crush on like all eight dudes that were in that show. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Like eight very hot cowboys, Yeah. <laughs> Andrea, what about you? Uh, my two favorite shows were My Soul Called Life and Felicity. So I had the high school show and then the college show. And I just got so wrapped up in the drama 
and the emotions that high schoolers and, and college students go through. And I just recently re-binged Felicity all four seasons. And so that was a great, um, that was great comfort food for this quarantine.